hi guys hi 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 welcome to wanjira's channel okay let's let's on my previous video that i have commitment issues and i'm actively working towards like being a better person like being more committed like doing more things that i love and committing to them and sticking to them and honestly the fact that i have come back here less than a week later it just shows me babe, it just shows me that i am willing i am working so a moment for sly good job sly <laughs> so how are you guys how have you been I hope you're doing well i am doing great personally and i am excited to be shooting this video if you can't already tell i am actually so stoked i was feeling a bit down and under literally five minutes before i started shooting this but i'm just like i feel so good so yeah on this week's video i want to be more specific on what i am going to be putting out on this channel so i have my notebook here and i'm going to highlight five points of focus for my content each point i'm going to give a life update and moving forward we're just going to be updating as we go and improving and living i hope you stick around and watch this actually i don't hope stick around uh without further ado honestly let me just begin let me just go right in and start by saying that i mentioned on my previous video if you haven't watched it please go back and watch it the video I posted five days ago <laughs> um i am a very multifaceted person and there is no way i'm going to do content like focus on one specific thing there's no way i can do that because i have many things and i have to just th those things have to shine you know those things have to be spoken about those things have to shine those things have to come out so i just want to be more specific in regards to what i'm going to be sharing and what i'm comfortable sharing moving forward right uh first point I don't, know, I don't know if you guys are into horoscopes and shit, but I'm a Virgo and I find that when I am not doing well physically, when I am not feeling my best physically, it really, really affects my mind, it affects my life in general, it affects my self-esteem, it affects so much about me and it's something that is very crucial to my self-development. So my physical state where i am at and in this way i'm not just talking about my body i'm talking my body my hair my beauty my face my everything like my health in general i'm just going to be highlighting that in different ways on this channel because i mean that is part of who i am i really put a lot of focus on my body and my face and my hair and everything it's more superficial it's actually the most superficial um point of focus on on my channel right so i have to start there because i mean i am a girly girl and i love to do my hair and i want to learn how to do my makeup even better i want to work i uh, go back to working out uh, now now we're in the update now we're in the update right so where i'm at physically right now is that i have gained weight my body fluctuates quite a bit like it's it's like if if, if you follow me on ig you probably know so i have not been working out I have not worked out for the last one year the okay if you don't know let me give you a bit of context so i am a mom right and i have a five-year-old she's turning five in two weeks time 7th october she'll be turning five and so when i gave birth to her back in 2017 i had gained like 27 kgs guys i was 27 kgs heavier i was literally 100 kgs on the day of delivery and so after i gave birth um of course that was a very big issue for me how my body looked it affected a lot it affected my self-esteem it really impacted my anxiety like i got way more anxious because i had social anxiety to top it off because you know me i'm such a social person and i love going out and being outside with people but i realized after i had my child that side of me kind of died because i was just like so anxious about being around people being like way overweight like they'll just see me and be like in fact i'd see some people and be like, they'd be like ni bebe, ni bebe, sly. I'm, i don't know that thing just used to really really put me down uh in 2019 i went on a proper like fitness journey and a weight loss journey uh, so to speak actually 2018 around 2018 i tried and then in 2019 i went home so i worked out for to, to, for like a whole year consistently and i lost all my baby weight i was like 70 kgs in 2020. the 
the same year is when I got separated from my baby daddy and then I had to come back home so my whole routine was fucked and I was just like unable to sustain that actually no 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 the rest of 2020 i worked out actually until december i worked out but not 2021 last year and you need like consistently so i have not trained consistently for like a whole year plus and it shows <laughs> it shows i have gained 10 kgs back i'm 80 kgs now i don't care like actually you see the way i'm speaking this is not who i was that, okay this is not who i was like two years back it really used to get to me how i look so now the fact that it doesn't really i don't know if it's an age thing but i just feel so beautiful regardless of the fact that i've gained weight i have a full pie i just feel like i'm heavier and i'm happy with it i'm not happy with it per se but i'm not sad i'm not down about it right so but because i know what kind of impact that weight loss journey and that fitness journey had on my growth and my mind and my heart and like generally my life my whole life i feel like i need to get back there because seriously everything just aligns when you're when you have a fixed routine i used to wake up pray and then shower and then work out and then I shower and then start my day and i realized that i'd gain more confidence in myself because i would do what i have committed to do right uh, so I really really desire to get back there in as much as I'm not desperate not to lose weight I just want to get fit and to get healthy because I mean I'm getting older and I just I want to be actually my goal is very superficial But I want to be a hot show show. That's it. I just want to be a hot show show. I don't want to be a show show who can't walk I, I'm just like my body is not working and of course God is the one who determines all this But I'm just saying I want to actively pursue a healthy body long term right and that's been a desire of mine for a very long time so i'm going to be sh taking you guys through that journey getting back there getting back uh, on my feet and working out regularly i don't know how that is going to work of course i'm going to have to incorporate that once i move out like move out of home because you know i'll have my own place and i'll I, I can be in control of what is being cooked i can be in control of my shopping i can be in control of just my routine basically so that will be a huge 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 point of focus for me my physical state my body my health how i eat how i work out when i work out what i'm doing to get to a certain point because i really i don't mind being like 75 kgs but i just want to get lean basically and lean muscle like lean muscle that's my goal um another thing my hair journey i'm going to take it a notch higher for sure because i've slacked i've been slacking i'll insert pictures of how my hair used to look like like two years ago that not two years ago three three four years ago 2018 2019 that's when my hair was as it actually get it back there and i feel like i should probably get colored it so that it can motivate me to take more care of it because when it's colored you have to take good care of your hair when it's colored um that's that and then for like beauty and stuff i mean random get ready with this i i, I think i'm going to do that and also like my style i would love to improve on my style and just upgrade kind of and just get things that i don't usually get and just be more intentional with what i buy because I realize when you, I don't realize, it's a fact. When you look good, you feel so good. And when you feel so good, it's easy for you to present yourself to the world, basically. And I want to present myself to the world the way I want to show up. In like in my head, in my dreams, where I, I, I want to look, I want to start now. I want to start working on that now. Um, so yeah, that's that with my physical state. Actually, with the style thing, right now, I just buy what I need. I just buy what I need. Like, come as I have seen a bit of a Like, I don't know. I'm, in a skirt, in a jeans, in a just feel like I need to shop, but it's not a priority right now. So maybe next year, January, is when we're going to be doing all of that. But when I buy new stuff, I'm going to be showing you guys because I like showing you guys clothes when I buy them. I mean, don't we all, right? Number two, oh my god, that took a minute, but it's okay. Those three are combined them because I don't think I can speak on one without speaking about the other my state of mind accepts uh, i mean affects my emotional state 
and my spirituality affects my emotional state and my mental state so they are intertwined in my opinion to me so i really want to take it like to do better i am a very spiritual person by the way i am very in touch with myself and i consider myself to be quite self-aware there's so many things that i have not yet learned for sure about myself it's a long-term journey that one so i can't really say that i'm the most self-aware person or i'm the most enlightened person or i'm the most whatever it's just i feel like it's a side of me that's very me i am deep <laughs> i like going deep i like digging deep into my life and my thoughts and my actions and my feelings and all that so i'm i'm going to have to be discussing where i am at mentally because i struggle with uh, depressive episodes. I have not been diagnosed really, so I can't even, I don't know if I should say depressive episodes. I just get really lonely sometimes. And though right now they are way less frequent, um, they happen, they do happen when something happens. I'm a, after a while, I get I get burnout, for example, and it just like shut down. And I get really, really, really low, and I'm, wondering, I'm questioning everything, I'm questioning my entire existence, but, uh, so to speak. So that's something I'm going to be updating uh, uh, regularly here and there um, because I'm very, I'm a very sensitive person. There are things that affect me deeply that I really have to talk about because they affect my day to day life. So in that sense, currently I am not bad. I feel like I am so, so much better. You guys, the growth. <laughs> I am so so much better right now than I was um, a year ago. Kwanzaa 2021, I feel like 2021, beginning from January to um, August, Tapo, I was low. And then also after I had my child, I struggled for a whole like two years mentally and emotionally. So it's really been a journey like up and down, up and down, just like up and down. But of course, there are other factors that affect those things other external factors so right now i'm good i'm mentally kind of stable <laughs> i usually tell my friends i'm i'm definitely emotionally unstable because sometimes i'll be so excited if you know me you know i get hype i'm hyper i'm bubbly i am energetic i am all over the place i'm charismatic i like talking to people i like engaging with people i like meeting new people i like connecting i just like bonding with people and i like being outside i love i'm a ball of energy right but sometimes i'm just like in my bed for a whole week down and depressed <laughs> and my room is a mess like right now my room is like i feel like if anyone saw my room right now anyone online so my room right now they'd be like lie you guys would judge the fuck out of me but uh, i don't even feel like organizing this room because i'm sick and tired of living here i'm sick and tired of being crammed up in this little room i can't wait to move so <laughs> such thing really affects my mood the minute i get home i'm just like i need to leave this place so yeah such things like sometimes i get down and under and when and I don't want to be the type of uh, YouTuber that will just come and just speak on all the highs and all the good things happening in my life. I'm definitely going to be going deep into how I'm feeling, how I'm doing, how I'm doing, and what has affected that state of mind. Because, of course, my background has a lot to do with how I operate day to day, emotionally and mentally. So I have to address all those past traumas and shit on this channel. My spiritual state, I'm not going to church. I'm a very, I'm a Christian. I'm a believer. I believe in God and I pray. And I want to go back to church. And I don't care. I don't care by the way what anyone says. I don't care what anyone thinks. That is my call. Like, that is who I am. That is me being true to myself. Because I started going to church at a very young age, at like six years old. I literally, my brother and I literally walked all over Koma. We walked all over Koma looking for a church because my mom had just uh, delivered our last one. <laughs> Lonely. Shout out to you. Respect me. <laughs> respect me <laughs> yeah so my brother and i went to look for a church and then we found it and we were there for years and years and it was like the foundation of my christianity and my spirituality for sure i literally don't regret anything and i realized that prayer is a very 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 crucial part of my life as a person and every time i feel in touch with god and i'm praying and i'm going to church and i'm reading the bible i just feel so nourished and 
like feel me home and it really really shows in every area of my life so that is not a side of me i'm willing to let go at all and of course i question a lot it's not like i'm just a blind christian and i know there's so many questions around christianity and the church and praying and the bible and everything i get it but i feel like there's questions everything if i'm a buddhist there's questions if i'm a muslim there's questions even whatever it is wherever whatever your faith is there's questions nobody knows what they're doing i don't think so i don't think so but besides that i also believe in the law of attraction deeply the secret changed my life the secret changed my life my view my perspective on life I, it changed my life and i really do believe that what you think you attract and when you feel good you attract good things literally i have seen it with my own eyes oh my god listen listen <laughs> if there's an area i struggle oh my god i'm in baby class in this area i'm in baby class i want to learn these things on the go i want to learn them as we do this content thing because personally i feel like i'm a very late bloomer i'm currently working at a place i really wanted to work for like years and now that i am kind of settled settled in and i have an idea of how much money i'm making every month and i have an idea of what i want to do in future not in future in the near future like now even moving on, moving forward uh, to add on to my sources of income i feel like it's crucial to talk about that it's crucial because i'm going to have to start budgeting and one of the main reasons even i'm moving out is because of this because i feel like as long as you're in that cup that cushion of your parents i'm in my parents house i don't pay a single bill nobody asks me for anything i just be swiping my money in the goddamn club like a, like 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 a stupid person okay but i mean the last few months i've tried because i've bought stuff for the house but i'm just like if i continue staying here i will not do anything with my life so i have to get myself to a place where my money has work waiting for it you know like end month i know this amount is going to my rent this amount is going to this and this entertainment blah 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 so i'm going to do all those excel sheets and do budgeting and source advice from people hopefully i'm going to get people to collaborate with in this aspect because i also have like a scarcity mentality i struggle with i'm an african kenyan kikuyu woman first born girl i obviously have money issues okay my money mindset needs an upgrade and that's a journey i'm willing to embark on and be a beginner and just learn and just go with the flow and and do my best okay it's definitely going to be part of my content structure okay okay parenting i am a single mother okay i am i am a single co-parenting mother of one daughter i am raising a child in this new age of information and social media and and conscious parenting there's no way in hell i'm going to be living in a house with my child and i'm not going to be talking about these things i am extremely extremely passionate about the struggles that women go through as they parent their kids and i'm extremely passionate about some other issues that i'm not going to talk about on this channel on this episode because yeah, but i am going to be talking about that there, there's things i need to share for sure about motherhood about parenting our routines my child doesn't have a proper routine we try uh we try we try because especially when she's in school it's definitely better because in the morning she goes to school in the evening there's a routine at the funeral or okay, whatever whatever but now i realize when she's on holiday i'm on a weekend i'm just not like actively pursuing a specific routine for her and i feel like it's crucial it's crucial for kids to have a routine so i'm going to really try and uh, structure a routine that works for both of us and i'm going to be sharing all those things and sharing my journey on motherhood and how it has impacted me as a person because baby <laughs> My life has never changed that drastically yeah. and i think there's a part of me that has fought there's a part of me that has fought this side of me being a mom for too long like i think i have fought this side of, it's almost like i i refuse to accept that i'm a mom and i refused to um change my life 
because of that thing. So I feel like called to just embrace it wholly and allow it to be a part of my life as it as it because it really 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 is a huge part of my life. So definitely motherhood content is coming. Currently where I'm at with motherhood is I am a very I'm a hog for information when it comes to parenting. And I am so privileged. Let me tell you, if you're a mom raising a child right now, you know how privileged we are because we are raising kids in the information age. Like you can just go through something with your child and Google and figure and find out so much information about how to handle a specific situation with your child. And I feel like that's the biggest privilege as parents of today we have. And if you're not utilizing that privilege, kindly check yourself, check yourself, check yourself. Let's not like just do things the way we've seen our parents do. Question things. You know, you see, I've, I've started, I've started. Question things, question how you parent. And let me tell you, I am not perfect. I am so imperfect. Like, I slack, like, I don't slack. I, let me, if there's a thing that unlocks uh, your trauma to another level. You know how you, when you're growing, you just realize all these areas that affect your life. Like, all these experiences that you went through, maybe Kitambo, that affect your current life. But now when you're raising a child, it's like on another level, the unlocking. When you interact with a child, you get in touch with you as a child. It's like to say me, when I'm being conscious about not shouting at my child, sometimes it triggers me to go back to how much I used to get shouted at. Like how much emotional turmoil I, I must have gone through as a child because my parents were not aware of how those things affect kids so sometimes you'll find that you get so triggered you get so triggered by even your positive parenting you get when you're trying to talk to your child nicely i'm when you're being intentional i'm when you're being over you're feeling overwhelmed it gets you to another place you just think of some moments that you have never been thought of when you were younger you think of your mom you kind of contextualize exactly what she must have been going through in that moment and it really brings things to light you guys it's it's where <laughs> so definitely motherhood content has to be part of my content so look out for that mom single moms please comment if you're a mom if you're a single mom if you're a married mom whatever kind of mom i need all the tips i and I'm not, I'm not the type of person that like to just rely on information from outside i have a very strong gut that i trust so i also go with my gut mostly because i believe i'm genuinely a kind a good person with good intention so i really don't rely too much on what people tell me and i, I encourage you to be like that as well as a mom as long as you're working on yourself and you're working to be better and to be a better version of yourself Trust your gut, you know, don't rely too much on people because most times people project their fears and their failures and their um, whatever beliefs onto you and sometimes those things don't really necessarily apply to you and your parenting style. So I encourage moms to, Atakama, I, I'm asking for all the advice that I will possibly need in future, just that's a point to note, right? So yeah, now I'm done with that. I'm gonna get I do want this video to be long, but you know what, Sylvia? It's fine. In Ile, it is see others, other things that I'm going to be doing that I'll just be doing just because I enjoy doing them. Because I like, there are things I'm not necessarily a pro, I'm not necessarily equipped, I'm not necessarily anything, but I want to talk about them and highlight them. For example, cooking. I love to cook. Guys, I love to cook and it excites my spirit when I cook. And one way I know I have really let myself go and I need to move out of home because we have health and we get food cooked every day. So I rarely get to cook and I find that when you're when you're doing less of the things that you enjoy doing, your energy stays low. Your energy stays low. So I don't want my energy to be low, obviously. So I know I'm going to be doing a lot of cooking up and now that I'm going to be working out and being more conscious and mindful of what I'm going to be eating. So I'm going to be cooking, I'm going to be cooking with my child, I want to teach her how to cook and I'm going to be doing probably mukbangs, I enjoy watching mukbangs, I had not even thought about this but I really enjoy watching mukbangs, so probably I'll be inviting people, we eat together and talk and do shit like that, probably, and then um, other things I like to do, I like to go out, I will probably be hosting people, 
at my place. Probably not. Maybe that's when I'll know my true friends, but it's okay. <laughs> but in case I'm hosting and we're doing like games and stuff in my place, I'm definitely going to be sharing that. And yeah. So I just wanted to update my channel with a new episode by sharing what I'm planning to do on this channel because it's exciting my spirit. I've always wanted to release and everything is underway. The plans are underway and I'm just like so please. Uh, next time. Thank you, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. And like, comment, please comment. Please. please comment and tell me what you think and share this video and subscribe to my channel because I'm not going anywhere. Because I am a committed babe. I'm committed to my work. 